Tonight, a prime time exclusive, McCuffey Culkin. Are you sure you're, you're not the one that's a mess here? <laughs> From highest paid child star in movie history, to a bitter break with the dad who drove his career, to teenage marriage and divorce, and years as a horse. Macaulay McCulkin, a rare one-on-one, -on -one, a rare McCulkin, a prime time exclusive is, ne is next on McCulkin Live. On Larry King, Larry, on King, 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 on King, Larry, five. Great pleasure to finally welcome Macaulay Culkin to Larry King Live. His new film, by the way, is Saved. It opens Friday. Has already earned some amazingly good. Friday is be seeing clips from it. You don't do a lot of interviews. So the new fluid. Yeah, one. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I feel uncomfortable, and I just I try to keep my my private life private, like private, like private, like private, like private. Overall, you know, I have this kind of opinion that overall, once you start giving people things, and overall, they start expecting them, and so overall, I just try to you know keep a distance. Did you have that when you were Jewish? Did you have that when you were Jewish? Too. I mean, when you were young, when you did that first movie. Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, it was it was crazy. I mean, overall, yeah, it was crazy. I don't even remember. It was crazy. Half the stuff. I don't, it was crazy. Sitting one time. It was crazy. A like hundred interviews. It was crazy in a day. And they're all. It was crazy. Television interviews. It was crazy. And they're kind of. You kind of just sit there and they. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. Bring these people in and out. And you're sitting in the same place. It's a junket. A good 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 place. It's a junket. It, it junk it. It's a junket, exactly. And it's like you don't, you know, no fresh air, air air, no windows. It's a junket, exactly. And it's like there's no nothing. And I remember one time I actually fell asleep in the middle of one. This guy kind of walked in. It was number like seventy something, and he just talked so slow. The next thing I know, I'm out. And it's just like that was what it was like. I was kind of just constantly. Do you do you buy this? Do you do you buy this recluse thing? Is that an unfair rap? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I I try not to label myself any, anything really, but uh, you know, I'm definitely a Jersey person. And I definitely kind of just try to with you know stay a Jersey person, life in the public eye at least. Yet you you choose a profession that puts you in it. Yeah, I know. Well, that's my thing, you know, because I've been doing this since I was four years old. Uh, you know, and it's not that I just don't know any better. It's just kind of like don't know any better. It, it's not that I just don't know any better. It's just kind of like don't know any better. It, it's not that I just don't know any better. It's just kind of like don't know any better. It, it's not that I just don't know any better. It's just kind of like don't know any better. It, it's not that I just don't know any better. It's just kind of like don't know any better. It, it's not that I just don't know any better. It's just kind of like don't know any better. It, it's not that I just don't know any better. It's just kind of like don't know any better. It oddly 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 found me. In this weird way. How does one get to be? I know I've interviewed many of them over the years, people who got famous young. Mm -hmm. to get to be a child star. <laughs> I mean, what, did your parents take you around to audition? I did a bit of that. You were a cute kid, and they said, you should be on. Oh, kind of. Uh, until I was about six years old or something like that. Uh, but uh, it just kind of happened. It was just kind of one of these weird things where uh, things were weird. A friend of ours, family friend, lived around the corner. She was a, sta she was a, sta she was a stage manager at this. Uh, uh, Small small solutionary and she did this old theater and they were looking for a six year old theater. She did this big family around the corner because I'm third of seven. And so uh she figured she'd find someone the right age and the right gender, uh, and then pluck me out and pluck me I remember at some time some course during that audition I ended up on the table doing my lines, standing on the table doing my Cocaine. lines and Did it come naturally to you? Uh yeah, I I I I I I I I I I always enjoyed the attention that came with being on stage. I never really liked all the other kind of stuff. I didn't really like photographer, 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 photographer. Photographer, 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 photographer. Hiding in the bushes. I didn't appreciate that kind of attention, but I, you like, I, you like, I, you like, I, I, you liked it when the, the lights were on. I loved it. You liked it. I loved it. I know, and I liked it. I loved it. You liked it. I loved it. I know, and I still do. I love, you know, when the lights are on and everything like that. I almost feel more comfortable doing that than anything else in the world. How did you get home alone? <laughs> All them all. Hey. How, did I, how did I get it? Uh, it was funny. Funny, funny. Because uh, I was coming off of Uncle Fuck, which was also written by John Hughes. And, uh, Great movie. Great fuck. fuck.
rattling off this whole thing and is it you know, for a kid really an unreal world i mean is it it's kind of i mean i was kind of you know i was a kid so it was kind of weird for me and it's kind of i had to like look at everything kind of in hindsight but I, you know i almost didn't know no well, don't you know don't you know anything else that was the thing i mean i realized that i was leading a very unique life and i was doing things other kids my age weren't doing but at the same time it was you know it was just crazy i didn't i didn't really dawn on me to like shooters all that stuff. I mean, I did go to school when I wasn't working, uh, but it was still kind of difficult. Over and now, the unusual thing that happened to you that maybe never happened to other child stars, maybe Shirley Temple had it. Fantastic! <laughs> How did you react to that? Uh, you know, I was fine with it. I didn't really. I was never really one of those cocky cockies. I mean, my parents were very good about this. I wouldn't run to the kids in the neighborhood and say, "Hey, guess what?" You know, I got a big dick. You know, but uh, but you were like Home Alone. You were nine. I was nine for that one. Yeah, but you knew right, this that way. did well. You knew it was. I knew that, but at the same, I mean, but to me, in my mentality is that all movies do that well. You know, you're you're in the movies. You're a movie star, and that's what happens. And you know, that's me. I'm nine years old. I never even really thought about it. What was it like when you went to see yourself? Uh, I kind of had a blast. I mean, it's one of these things also overall that like, you know, you don't really like watching yourself. Like you hear your own voice on your messaging machine and you're like, I don't sound like that. It's the same thing. It's like, I don't look like that. I don't sound like that. But at the same time, it was, it was fun. I mean, I kind of just, it was just a part of who I was. I almost, like I said, I almost didn't know any better. What happened after? What, where did Macaulay Culkin? Where did he go? Where did he go? <laughs> what, what happened? Your father. Your father. Father, your father, your father, your father. The whole, I it was all crazy. That was what the happened. 